boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with the board, Better Off Reading Every Day. Today's book is called Land Shark by Beth Ferry and illustrated by Ben Mantle. Bobby had a plan fishy plan, a wishful plan, a frightful plan, a biteful plan, a delightful plan. Step one, convince parents. Step two, get shark. Not a small freshwater shark but a real scooped out of the ocean, chock full of teeth shark, a whale shark, or a lemon shark, or a bull shark. It didn't matter, Bobby liked them all. He baited a hook with clever signs. Pets made the very best, most coolest, birthday presents ever. Ready, set, pet. And reeled his parents right in. He forgot just one tiny detail. On the morning of his birthday, Bobby's parents threw open the garage door. Surprise, they yelled. No enormous saltwater tank, no rows of sharp teeth, no awesome dorsal fin, no shark. Happy birthday. What's this, Bobby asked. A puppy, said his mom. The very best, most coolest present ever. Good one, mom. Are you going to the aquarium? For what, his dad asked. For my shark, Bobby answered. Don't be silly, said his mom. You can't have a shark. Shark aren't pets, his sister said. Did you think you were getting a shark? His brother laughed. Bobby ran up, his, ran up to his room, not crying, not crying. One salty tear. Shark lovers did not cry. His mom brought the puppy upstairs. Look at her, she crooned. She's sweet. Sharks aren't sweet and adorable. Sharks are not adorable and cuddly. Sharks, not, sharks do not cuddle. Just give her a chance. Shark lovers cannot be converted to dog lovers ever. The next day, Bobby awoke to shouting and barking. Have you seen my shoe? His dad called. Have you seen my baseball? His brother yelled. Panda? His sister cried. Has anyone seen Panda? The puppy dropped Bobby's Panda on Bobby's feet. Tail wagging, Bobby surveyed the damage. It was destruction with a capital D. It was frightful. It was biteful. It was delightful. He could hear his mother coming. Good luck, he told the puppy. After one week, the puppy had chewed through five pairs of shoes, six stuffed animals, and the legs of three chairs. She barked at 10 p.m., 2 a.m., and any other M she wanted. Shh, said Bobby's sister. Ark, said the puppy. Shh, said Bobby's brother. Ark, said the puppy. Shh, ark, I wish, said Bobby. Everyone except Bobby, he was thrilled. 
A shark was looking better and better. Everyone was grumpy. That night, the doorbell rang. Is this yours? Miss Grantley asked, pointing at the pile of garbage. The garbage ran right over to Bobby. He sniffed. She must have smelled your spaghetti sauce. Did you know that sharks have an amazing sense of smell? Miss Gentry peered into the house. Do you have a shark in there? Not yet, said Bobby. Bobby's mom handed him the puppy. Someone needs to give her a bath or give her away, Bobby, Bobby mumbled. But as he carried the puppy upstairs, he whispered, tiger sharks like garbage too. The puppy licked his face, then splashed into the tub. Bobby turned away. Shark lovers cannot be converted to dog lovers, no matter how great they swim. On Saturday morning, Bobby awoke to a screech scratching sound. He opened his door and the puppy charged in. She sniffed his rug, sniffed his clothes, and barked at his posters. She scooted under the bed and grabbed Toothy. Don't, Bobby began. It was too late. Stop, he yelled, lunging for Toothy. The puppy pulled, Bobby tugged, the puppy growled, Bobby yelled, drop it, drop it now. The puppy dropped it. Then she took a great big chump out of it. Bobby gasped. The puppy trotted over and dropped the head at Bobby's feet. Then she wagged her tail. Bobby could not believe it. The bite mark was incredible, magnificent, enormous. Kate saw the torn and tattered toothy. Oh, she said to the puppy, you done it now. And the puppy had done it. She had barked and chewed and bitten her way right into Bobby's heart. Bobby was a shark lover and shark lovers, as it turns out, can be converted to dog lovers. In fact, they can love lots of amazing things. And with less than a year until next, his next birthday, Bobby had a plan, a fantastic plan, a Jurassic plan, a frightful plan, plan, a biteful plan, a delightful plan. Step one, convince parents. Step two, the end, boys and girls, of land shark. Boys and girls, I chose this story. Aside from the fact that the little boy in the story wanted a shark for his birthday, which I thought was pretty awesome. I chose this story because one of my favorite shows on TV to watch with my daughter, we watch it all the time together, is Shark Tank. I know it's not really a kid show. We do watch kid shows together as well, but we love this because of all the great ideas that everybody comes up with. And sometimes they bring their children on the show to show off the ideas, which is always very cute. And one of the ideas they showed off on the show that I absolutely love was a holder. It is called a purse case for your phone and everything goes in there. 
all the things that you need when you have your phone. And it also actually came with a little mirror, which I don't carry because I don't need a mirror right now. But it was one of the fabulous ideas that came on Shark Tank that my daughter and I watch together all the time. Also, the reason why I chose this story is because when you want something for your birthday, it's not always something that your parents is gonna go for, but sometimes they give you something that you really didn't think you were gonna like, and you end up falling in love with it and just don't know how you ever live without it, kinda like the boy in this story. So sometimes you need to just give things a chance when it's given to you as a gift also. I wanted you to check out my shark here. There he is. And I wanted you to take a bite out of reading. Get it? Stop messing around. It's Miss Reynolds with Board. Better off reading every day. And it was my pleasure to share this story, the shark story with you. No, I do not know how to do baby shark. That's something the kids promised to teach me once we get back to school. So bye boys and girls.